Hi, Teresa. It's Joy. And Megan. <laughs> and we are coming to you from the beloved ProWrite couches. If you have followed the ProWrite Studios videos, then you'll know where we are. You'll have seen them before. I'll put the link up there somewhere. So, somewhere up there. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, here we are. And we're coming to you this week from the C.S. Lewis Colloquium. And we've been hanging out with all sorts of really smart people and learning a lot about C.S. Lewis and Tolkien and all of the other Inklings. So that's, that's kind of what we've been doing and that's why we're back on campus. But for now, this is, this is our merch for the week. <laughs> it's a C.S. Lewis and Friends t-shirt for 2018. <laughs> so that's, that's fun. I'm excited to wear this. I'm here with Megan, Hello. lovely Megan Burkhart. And I decided that today it would be a fun thing to do a Q&A with Megan about what she's writing and how her summer's been and have a fun way for you to catch up with both of us. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> to start off, I know you're doing a similar internship or the same internship as <laughs> Teresa, so what are your thoughts on that whole thing? Yeah, so I'm actually doing pretty much the same exact internship as Teresa. We're both working for the same literary agent. And I know, as she's uh, said to you, that we look through a lot of submissions that come in and we get to decide whether or not we're going to pass it on to the agent uh, or whether we're going to just pass on it. And I've definitely learned a lot about evaluating manuscripts and what makes for good writing and what's not so great. And definitely I'm learning a lot about what's popular in the industry right now, where the trends are going with children's like picture books board books and fiction like YA all that stuff so it's been a lot of fun and I am definitely learning a lot and I feel like I'm becoming a better writer <laughs> through the process. How do you see that? How Are you working on writing anything or editing anything? Yes I am working on my YA novel right now. I actually had it go through critiques this last semester with Teresa and uh, one of our other fellow pro writes and they gave me lots of really good feedback, which I was really grateful for. And so I've basically sat back down and have started kind of rewriting, taking their comments into mind and kind of reworking the story, working out plot holes, characters, all that stuff. And uh, after watching your video this past week, I definitely have taken your advice of just kind of starting from scratch. I don't know, more or less starting from scratch. I and I've basically kind of rewritten the first few chapters and they're very different and I'm taking in a lot of new things that kind of weren't there before. So I'm definitely going to be following the trajectory of my novel that I already have set in place, but it's going to look very different because I'm very much doing a major rewrite. I'm glad that it's going to help your novel get better and I'm very excited to read it when, when she's published. You're going to hear about it. So. That's exciting. And you'll hear about it when she gets published. <laughs> I know you also, you mentioned critique group. Um, what's one of your favorite things about being in a critique group? And like, what's one of your favorite memories from being in critique group? Yeah, I love that question. That's a really great question because I definitely love critique groups, especially, I was really nervous when I first came to college and started one because I was like, I've never really given my writing to anybody before besides like family and things like that and they always tell you oh yeah I like it. So it was definitely a very scary like intimidating thing to give my work over to these people who I know are good writers and who are going to give me like good feedback and so I think my favorite thing about critique group is just the fact that people are coming at it who are good writers and they can give me good feedback and like there are things that like deep down like I know I need to fix but it's just so helpful having like somebody actually say it to you be like this is what you need to work on and you're like oh I feel like I already knew that but like coming from you it's like now I like I can really go forth and like work on that. As for a favorite memory from critique group oh okay this is this is really great so one thing about critique group and the way that we do it obviously is working in google docs and we just like make comments on the side of people's manuscripts <laughs> what I love is that sometimes you just end up like misread a word you know and you just like you're like oh like I didn't realize that I said that so I think it was last semester we had it where somebody was reading along I don't know whose manuscript we were on but they made a comment inside and said so I thought this said chorp but it was actually chop 
And so now that's just an inside joke that we have where we just say chorp every now and then just as kind of a joke. So Yeah. So one more question for you, Megan. Do you have any advice for writers who are just starting out or writers who are trying to get better at their craft? Um, for writers starting out, I would definitely say that you need to find a good community of writers. That's a definite thing that... I mean, obviously, besides just, like, improving, like, the craft, I mean, obviously, you need to, like, read a lot in your genre and just kind of really know what you're writing and all that sort of thing, but you definitely need to find a good community of writers because once you kind of have your first draft done, it is so important to have people who are writers be able to look at it and help you out and give you feedback and that sort of thing. So definitely find your writer people. They're nerdy, they're awesome, and they're just the best people ever, and you will love having a community of writers to be part of. That's all we have for today. I'm so glad Megan was able to join me today. It's been yes. really fun hanging out with her and learning all about C.S. Lewis and Tolkien and a lot more in depth about all of their writing than I've ever gotten before. So that's amazing and great. I'm really glad that you're here and I'm so glad that we got to share this time with you. If you like what you've seen, please go ahead and like and subscribe and share and make sure that you're following Teresa as well. Her videos are up here. Go find her up there. And I will also post a link to the PWR Studios YouTube channel, which is where like Megan is Like and follow. Go find both of us there, and you'll really enjoy watching the hilarious skits that we put on that are really writing humor. It's all of the writing humor. So, yep, it's great to see you, and until next time, Teresa, bye. Bye, Teresa.